To any young person, a single pimple or blemish is enough to throw them into a state of frustration and distress. Yet to my friend Barset, this would be the least of his concerns. He suffers from EB, a genetic condition that causes uncontrollable outbursts of wounds and blisters across the skin. His skin in turn struggles to repair itself and he is thus left covered in open wounds across his body. Another name for my condition is actually Butterfly Baby because the wounds are everywhere and you're just wrapping the bandage anyway, it's like a cocoon. Butterfly Boy, a story of patience. Diagnosed as a baby, Bassett has lived with the condition for over 25 years. There is no known cure for the condition, and many have to live with the excruciating pain their entire lives. What's it like living with this skin condition? This, it's hard because I have to basically, I'm immobile for the most part. So my day entails me being on my bed for the most part. I can't really walk. You just look at the way people walk and run and you, you, you can't help but think, I wish I could do that. Like, how, how does that feel? As difficult as this was all to hear, the treatment process Bassett goes through is another tribulation in and of itself. For hours on end, he sits like this, cutting, wrapping, bandaging, and applying ointment just to maintain the status of his condition. Basit, do you do this every day? Every day, every day. If I don't do it every day, it passes and oozes and smells and stuff, so I've got to do it every day. On a bath day, it takes six hours. On a bath day, on a normal everyday thing, it takes like four hours. I couldn't fathom the magnitude of what he goes through every single day. I couldn't imagine what it was like to be locked in a room for up to seven hours on end crouched over in painstaking treatment. It kind of reminded me of the story of Ayyub, the great prophet of Allah, who was also afflicted with an agonizing skin condition that left him bedridden and outcasted from society. Yet despite it all, his heart was able to remain firm, a challenge that Basit finds himself facing every single day. How important is faith to you in your condition? Yeah, I think um, without faith, yeah, I, if I'm brutally honest, brutally honest, what is, what would my, what is my, objectively, what is my life without faith? The, uh, I would have, I would have considered suicide a long time ago because I mean, well, I don't know, for me personally, I'm speaking to myself, what is, it's just all of going through all of this pain, the day by day, going through these hours of just, you know, hardship and, and pain and, and suffering and seeing others like suffer, suffer because of you as well to a certain extent. And what's the point? What's the point? If there's no faith, what's the point? If at the end there's nothing there, what's the point? Islam gives meaning and purpose to his suffering like nothing else could. It was simple. Stay patient today and attain Allah's pleasure tomorrow. When I hear about the mercy of Allah SWT, when I hear about the, his promise, his, the thought of being able to be with him, persevering and struggling to be with him. Uh, like faith, it's, it's something that's so easy for me to reconcile with as well. It's like, this is not our utopia. Persevere, have some sabr, and inshallah, inshallah, in the day of judgment, inshallah, we'll see, we'll see the fruits of our labor. This gives me purpose. The perseverance Basit shows is nothing short of inspiring. He understands that life is a test and he's in a race to stay steadfast until the very end. Two years ago, Basit's older brother Milad preceded him in this race and sadly passed away. Like Basit, Milad also suffered from EB, but in his case, it was much worse. And how was that like to lose your brother? It's really hard, it's really hard in that sense when, when you, you lose a part of you. Not having him around, that support, I learned so much from him. I think a lot of my ability to tolerate and my strength comes from seeing him being so much worse than I am. When I would think of how much he would suffer and struggle, and like it's just, Allah SWT chose both of us. He just picked us out from all of the creation, just picked us out and just giving us bonus points, just bonus points, just bonus points. In the Day of Judgment, inshallah, you, 
I, for him especially, imagine the, the, the rank that he would be with his patience as well that I, that I witnessed. So like when I go to his grave and I see that, it's just, I think to myself, he's, instead of me weeping for him being gone, like he's weeping for us still chained into this, uh, into this, into this struggle. Throughout his tribulation, Basit has managed to stay firm, not only staying patient spiritually, but also in his daily affairs. He has graduated from university, made many friends, and even performed Umrah with myself a couple of years ago. But behind his story of resilience, there is also one other secret that keeps him going forward. Religion has been the bedrock of my life, but my parents are the other, are the other factor. Like, Alhamdulillah for them. That's all I can say. Alhamdulillah for my parents because they made it so I don't, so I don't have to worry at all. When I have these problems and stuff like that, I can only think about these problems. In my mind, like I didn't even have to think about them. They never complain. I, like I didn't even. It's so normal. They make it so normal. That normalcy is something that I, I'm so grateful for them. If you could give them one thing, what would it be? I pray for my parents. I pray for my parents all the time. Like for those al Ayla, if 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 they could get for those, if they could go to Jannah, more than anything. For me, for them, to reunite in Jannah, more than anything, like for us to, to, to reunite in Jannah. Because for me, deep down, I feel like this, this is a test and I can feel that this is a test. And I thank Allah SWT for, 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 for making me feel that it's a test. The real life, when I will actually wake up with my family, inshallah, is in the, in, is in the next life. I can't forget that. I can't forget that. Basit's story is truly a modern example of patience that we can all admire and learn from. I ask Allah to raise Basit amongst the patient, to make him of those whom he loves, and of course, those who are rewarded in abundance. Yeah.